So the next topic is Fermat theorem. The two theorems that play a very important role in a public key cryptography are Fermat theorem and Euler's theorem. So in this video, we are going to discuss the first Fermat theorem and then we discuss Euler's theorem. The Fermat theorem states that the following that if, if P is a prime number, if P is a prime number, okay, and small a is a positive integer which is not divisible by this p which is not divisible by p then according to the Fermat theorem we can state as a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p okay so this is the equation that the Fermat theorem says in which where p is a prime number a is a positive integer which is not divisible by p then we can write it as a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. For example, if I am taking p is equal to 5, okay. So, this is an example. If p is a prime, uh, p equals to 5 which is a prime number and I am taking a as 2 which is a positive integer. Now, see a this a equals to 2 which is not divisible by p. So, we can write it as not divisible by p then according to the Fermat theorem we can write it as a to the power p minus 1. This means 2 to the power 5 minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p and what is p? That is 1 mod 5. Okay. So, this means that 2 to the power 4 is congruent to 1 mod 5 or 2 to the power 4 32 that is when we divide this 2 to the power 4 with 5 we get a remainder 1 ok. So, this means here we can apply this Fermat theorem. But in case when p is equals to 5 and I am taking a is equals to 5 here but this a is divisible by 5. So, now we check that whether the theorem that the theorem apply or not. According to this if I am saying that uh, 5 to the power 4 how with this 4 comes 5 minus 1 that is 4 is equivalent to 1 ok 1 mod 5 but this is not possible because if 5 to the power 4 is divisible by 5 then we get a remainder as 0. So, if this means if a is a positive integer which is not divisible by p then in this and that case the Fermat theorem does not apply. Now the application where this uh, Fermat theorem can be applied then the th quotient will be suppose if a quotient will find the remainder find the remainder when we, we divide when we divide 3 to the power 1 0 0 0 0 0 by 53. So, if the quotient is like this, then in that case, we can apply Fermat theorem. So, this is the application of the Fermat theorem. So, how we apply the Fermat theorem to solve this problem? Say, see here. Suppose, if I am taking P as 53, so this is a prime number, okay. And here I am taking A is a 3, okay. So, as we know that 3 is not divisible by 53, so this means we can apply Fermat theorem. So, according to the Fermat theorem, according to the Fermat theorem, Fermat theorem says a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. Okay. So, 3. So, 3 to the power 52 is congruent to 1 mod 53. Okay. Now, this means that 3 to the power 52 is when we divisible by 53 then it gives the remainder 1. But we have the question is that we have to find out the remainder when 3 to the power 1 lakh is divided by 53. So, in, the, in that case we have to raise this power to so that we get the power in the power that is 1 lakh. So, how will it will be possible? So, in that case you take a step like this that now we raise both side both side to a larger power to a larger power. 
So how it will be possible? So for that purpose, first divide 1 lakh by 52 because I am taking 52, uh, I only have 52 and I have to reach up to 1 lakh. So we divide 1 lakh by 52 and after dividing this, I am getting the quotient as 1923 and remainder as 4. Okay. This is a quotient and this is the remainder. Now, first we raise the power according to the quotient value and then we add the remainder here. So this means that 3 to the power 52, so we raise this, this much power to on the both side. So 1923 is congruent to 1 to the power 1923 mod 53. Okay. So when we multiply this 52 by 1923, I am getting 3 to the power 99996. 1 to the power 1923 is remains 1 mod 53. So this means if I divide this much by 53, I am getting remainder 1. But the question is, we have to raise the power of this much. So the, the remainder will be 4. So for that purpose, now we multiply. The next step is that we multiply both side by the remainder power. Means that 3 to the power 4. So we multiply 3 to the power 4 on the both side. So if I multiply 3 to the power 4 in left hand side, so this will become 99996 and here I am getting 3 to the power 4 into 1 mod 53. Okay. So this will become 3 to the power 4 plus 99996. So this will become 1 lakh and here 3 to the power 4 is 81 mod 53. So it comes out to be 28. So the remainder will be the remainder will be 28. So this is the remainder when we divide 3 to the power 1 lakh by 53. So this is how we apply the Fermat theorem in, in this type of question. So if you have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.